Hidebound Journal. Dark Vision. One favor, one faithful servant. That is all I summoned. No more and no less than Malice O'Erden, you know, Doe Erden ever had, or indeed the Mother of Lust herself. The Yolkol was quite the sight in all its forms. I'd read of its foul, I'd read of its foul odor, but I found it intoxicating, like rose water. So it smashed a few artifacts, hissed at a master. The Archmage should have revered me for such a conjuring. Instead, he threatened to curse me, to make me a drider. Yet my time will come soon. Soon I will return to Menzo Berenzon and Sorcerer. Then the Archmage will worship me. I will be served. A bit full of yourself, don't you think? This is quite the huge path to jump up. Nice loot to take up here. Fake wall. What's on the other side? Ooh. That's interesting. This is some heavily fey type shit. Most of my party can't get up there. That's yeah, worrisome. I gotta be careful about this. Let's see where this circle takes her. Overgrown tunnel. Maps labeled in red. So this area might be well above my pay grade right now. This has to do with the hag. But overall, it looks like I can't do anything else here right now. Oh, through the fake wall, let's check out the other portal. Oh. This one triggers, and... creates a shortcut back down where my party is. Okay. So I can get everybody through now. Cool. I just needed one person that was capable of jumping up there. Let's move. Although it looks like this is an area we already know. This is part of the Hag's underground base section we couldn't get into before. It connects to the rest of the Underdark. That's cool. Not very helpful, but it's cool. Well, I guess it's about time I head up into this chamber. This might be the temple where the night song's being kept. Scorched ground. Better watch out. Okay, there's magic defenses sitting in here. And I've been entered into turn-based mode. Okay, and there's multiples of these arcane turrets. Great. They only have 17 health, but they're sturdy. Only something that deals at least 10 damage will hurt it at all. 
It means Carlock is pretty much the only one of us that's got much of a chance of breaking this thing. It's vulnerable to lightning. But nobody in our party has any lightning spells. Wits and blades always sharp. Time Let's see if I can get a guiding awake. bolt on this thing. Wow, that did no damage. But hitting it turned it off. Have to keep huh. pushing. Oh yeah, I do have lightning damage as an option. Here we go again. And it didn't do any damage. Oh, but it did shut it off. The blade oh, Asterion. A Cut that open. Touch. That'll be easy for you. Oh, wow. Apparently not. I've got a lot of thieves tools. I'll run that again and add guidance for free. And a nat 20 did anyway. Skybreaker. Only one to four damage? It comes with Searing Smite. Oh, wait, now for her it does three to six damage. Hmm. It's not as good as what she's got, but then it also comes with Searing Smite, which... Having a very powerful fire spell on her hands... That seems incredibly useful. Oh, there's secrets over here. Let's march. Saddle up. And she can get down to him. Got her down here. Hmm. What's that? That's for someone teeny tiny, not biggie biggie. Well said, I suppose. What's this? All right, so I got her down behind the building we're trying to infiltrate. Hmm. Susser Anti-Magic Field. Bright blue, blue flower picked from a budding susser tree exudes a honey-sweet aroma, which turns foul and eventually fades away as it explodes to sunlight. It creates an anti-magic field. I don't like these flowers. They're bad. Oh yeah, that's, that's no good. Anti-magic fields are not something you might have messed with. Some more chemical ingredients, some gold, and a scroll of sleet storm. I'm gonna take these saucer blooms, just for the sake of having something to use against the wizard we're going up against, because if I can get a party member to throw that at the wizard, then we will have an easy round. Oh, shit. Okay, so those things turned back on. We're only temporarily shut down. In which case, these... Should be left right next to those. Because with the anti-magic field on them, they can no longer be a threat. Oh, there's more of those turrets in there. 
Let's see if I can pick the lock on the main chamber door then. Got it. Okay, those two turrets are quite the threat. I'm gonna have to recollect those to use them on these things. Oh, you've gotta be shitting me. Manti Magic Hill at least seems to make him immune to being hit by those. Or maybe not. Makes him resistant to it. There, stick one there, and that one won't be able to reactivate. It's definitely gotten hurt plenty in the process of doing this trick, but I've got a good healer. And I should be taking a long rest soon anyway. Magic from the chest. I can feel it. It's called the chest of the mundane. Okay, everything I just picked up from it was more valuable than it looked, wasn't it? Mistra's Grace. Ooh. Okay, that's gotta be good. Heart... Hearth light bomb. Bathe the area in light. That should be useful. Well. I guess the chest magically hid the value of everything that was in it. That's cool. Very unique function. Okay. Looks like I have a potential second way down to this next floor. Which could be useful. Probably safer than the elevator. It doesn't seem like there's more traps in here. No turrets, at least. There's another two floors down to explore yet. Seems whoever was studying here was quite the alchemist. All of these components... ...had to have been making something incredible. Get the whole party together on here. And descend. Nothing's happening. But it doesn't look broken. Powered by magic, it seems. Now to just get it working. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt, but I've gotta do it. Oh. Well, that got him down. This one'll hurt a bit too, but nowhere near as much. Gotta get him picking this open. I'll do challenge. Good bonuses. Terrible roll. I'll use one of his inspirations, yeah. This time I got it. Okay, doors open. What do we have in here? An excerpt from the true and impossible adventures of Tenebrox Marrow. Uh. Interplanar ship captain. Okay, that's interesting. Uh. 
oh, maybe we'll end up running into something like that. We do know that there's plans to make DLC for this, and making some interplanar DLC would be very interesting. Huh. Anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. For those knowing about susser trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly in those living in the world above, the way its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has been confirmed by any of our clerics. or never been confirmed by any of our clerics nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties, and that use magical absorption of Suster Tree flowers as a power source. Oh. That's interesting. So that means this plant he has on hand right now can actually be a power source to get us through here. And get this elevator reactivated. Here we go, generator. I know exactly what to put in here now. Power to the elevator is restored. Excellent. And that also turned the turrets off. And lit the place up. Magnificent. Whatever artificer made this place, they are brilliant. There we go. And let's get the party recollected. Have him drop a quick potion, and now that we're all, all together, right. what now? Time to head further up. We've seen what's down. But it seems there's a top floor we haven't been to yet that's full of surprises. Mind my step. And more. Mage's friend, Arcana and Religion plus one. Ooh. Huh, hidden button here. Strangely low for a button. Strangely useless, too. Hammer letter. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a boulette? Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A boulette is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Amarth. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she always sneezed after. Such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Huh. Roads to darkness. Huh. Seems to be a play. Huh, an engraved Githyanki this disc. This is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Hmm. Oof, that's difficult.
No matter how hard, you should take the disc to Lazel. She might know more about it. Get thing. Something for Lazel, I suppose. Glad we give that to her when we get back to camp later. Oh, an engraved gift of the Yasanki Origin Complex. Interesting. Writing the torn out strip of paper is shaking and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a little while? Sounds like whoever's been living here has driven themselves mad. Out of sheer loneliness. Uh, seems as though I've collected everything of worth here. Time to go higher up. New sounds to the damn and dark oppression break. Is it the foul? The foul contemptuous heel. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Huh. Come out of love for me. Not love for blood and seal. These are advanced constructs. If you do not believe the secret shell, reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. Quick step. Keep it quick. Welcome to this house. I wait for your commands. Of course, my love. And don't be afraid, sweet girl. So he's programmed based on. Would you like a hug? Come here. For just a moment. Huh. Seems the artificer here was so His stricken by loneliness that too low for a comfortable hug, as if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loved the door so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. As I already am. Oh wow. So, Lenore must have come back here and lived at this tower. And been so overwhelmed by loneliness that she just... created these things as her only companions. At least the animated armors aren't bothering us. I'll just... Help myself. They don't seem to be a threat at the moment. Hmm. And another gift for reading all of her notes. What did he just give me? I don't see anything in my inventory that he could have given me. All's well that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have. Well, it seems as though I've done everything I can here. There's so much more to do in the Underdark yet, though. The camp looks about. And rightly so. Now we found a dilapidated and destroyed underground camp. This can't be good. 